So I um I woke up this morning. Um, well, not this morning. It was about twelve o'clock, but still. Um, I woke up to find that. Uh, sorry, that was my phone. Um, woke up to find that was a a package for me. So I thought, well, what could this be? Then I found. Then I realised that the only thing I've ordered is this. The Digitech Bad Monkey Tube Overdrive Pedal. Just look at that. Look at that. If someone can name a pedal a bad monkey, you know it's going to be awesome. So just thought, anyway, I'd do a um, unboxing video, basically show you what you get inside it. Um, so yeah, um, just need to drop, put down the camera, so I'll just open the top and then go from there. So just open the open the box, which is a very nice box. It, it illustrates quite a lot what it actually is. So here it is. You get the put. You get the pedal. You get um. No, you get your did check. Um. All the different pedals and that. Very good. And you get um. way to register online for something now uh, on the website um, and you also get a, a manual well, let's be honest no one needs a manual so here's the pedal um, oh well I got this first this also just like a little package I'll just open this as well see what's inside Well, uh, well, this is something else I ordered. It was a, uh, it's got a data chain. In case you don't, in case you don't know what it is, it's like a, um, it's like a um, different power supply. So what you do, plug a nine volt power supply or whatever it needs the air power, whatever the air pedals or whatever plugs into that needs, and uh, it splits off. So um, that's. Because you know, I got that, I got there a bit early, but everyone likes an early thing. So, anyway, back to the uh, pedal. Um, it's a uh, bad monkey, tube of grab, like I said. Uh, God, you know what I got with it. Um, so, I'm just going to take it out of the package. That is a, uh, that is a nice pedal, I have to say. Yeah, it's got. The thing, an input and an output, two outputs. Um, uh, power supply is there, like most pedals. It's got different knobs as well. Um, so I just set it up and then I'll just show you where to put everything, like leads and things. So I just put it down where it should be. On my uh, makeshift pedal board, and yes, that's the train, and yes, yes, that's the Nintendo Wii box. Um, I'm getting new pedals because this one's kind of broke. So anyway, um, plug this one. Well, this one's running through the amp, and you plug um that one into the one that says amp. Ah, uh, funny enough. You plug the other one into the input. This one's running into the guitar. Or if you, had, if you have any other pedals before it, which is probably like a tuner or something, you plug it into there. Um, power supply where it is. I'm just going to use the, um, just like the uh, normal plug just for now. I'm not going to put the data chain in. Plug that in the top. It's on. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess I forgot to say you got a, uh, a little guitar pick. It's not my usual gauge, but I mean it's just nice to have. 
from uh, harrysguitars.co.uk which is a uh, thank you to them um, so I know it's been a bit of an unboxing I'll uh, just sort out all the levels and things and I'll uh, do a review for you peace out so um, I've got it all set up now um, on a few tones, but I'm going to be using just for this. But I'll probably mess about with it, like when I when I get more used to it. It's on the Wii box. Um, I'm running through a PV backstage too. That have a clue what 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 um power is it? Watts something. Yeah, I think it is. Um, I'm going to be running through it on the PV backstage too. Um, I think. I don't have a clue what leads actually, and um, you know, just my trusty Ibanez starter kit one with my new stickers. Yeah, like a boss. So I've got the amp running for a, a clean channel, which is um, basically just how it sounds like. I've got. I've also got this tune to drop C. Well, as much as I can without a tuner, because I don't have one yet. Um, I'm going to play um, the Bad Monkey with a clean channel, but with it on. Yeah, see the front. Yeah, right. Um, I personally think if you put this to the modern neck pickup, it's like it sounds more of a bluesy style. Also very fuzzy as well. I mean, I'm a metal player, but I mean, that's I personally think that's quite a nice turn. I mean, if you added something else to it, like to make it more beefier, sort of what a um, tubo drive pedal couldn't do. I mean, it would sound very nice. With the uh, now it's bridge pick up. I suppose that's really just the same really, but I mean it's more, um, I don't really know the word for it, but you can like, you can hear it a lot more clearer, but I mean, the net pickup is like very good for a fuzz effect if you like a fuzz blues player or something, probably never, I've never actually heard one of them, but I mean, I mean, you know, some people out there, who like to do that, I mean, it's, that's alright, because it's, it sounds very good. Now, um, just turn it off. I'm just going to put it through to the uh, distortion sound on the amp, this is what it sounds like. Um, you know, the amp's, the amp's a reasonably good distortion amp, I mean, I would say get it if you're like in a bedroom and you don't know what amp to get, get that. So anyway, again, this is what it sounds like without the bad monkey. Um, just as a distortion pedal on the amp. I mean, just as, as a distortion setting on the amp. So yeah, that's uh, 
that's how it sounds like with them um, with the bad monkey on eye distortion channel on the app. I mean it sounds very nice. It, it the bad monkey really does beef up the sound and make it a lot more gainier. I mean people do I know what people say like I know why people say like it runs in line with the tube screamer. The only thing is with this one, with the bad monkey, it um it does it doesn't sound as full, if you know what I mean. I know it, it makes the distortion sound a lot fuller. A lot more a lot more beefier. I mean compared to this tube screamer. I mean, what would you expect? This one cost I think about about thirty, forty pounds from Amazon. The tube screamer's like seventy eight quid, isn't it? So I mean it's it's a bit of a difference. But I mean it is very good for the price. I definitely suggest if it's your first tube screamer like mine. I mean plus the fact I've only had it for about half an hour. I'm really just putting a few effects. Just run um put the game up a bit more because you'll come like um like at zero. So anyway I put um put the game up a bit more because I'm a metal player. Put the level a bit more just to suit it with the room or it'll get told off. Um and they just sorted out the uh bass and the treble. I mean if you put low, if you put the low end up a bit then it sound it sounds amazing, I mean I mean you like yeah that that's one reason. Um that's one way to make it a lot sound a lot more full, just put the low end a bit more. I mean then I, I know a lot of, I've been watching a lot of videos about this and then most comments like below they're about how um how if you put them um, the low end up a bit more then it'll sound a lot more fuller so I mean I have done and it just sounds amazing so yeah that's the bad monkey tube screamer not tube screamer what I'm saying well it's, it's, good, it's probably as good as that for the price um, this is the bad monkey tube overgrab pedal by Digitech um, I'll be doing more unboxing videos because I'm getting more pedals in this week um, please subscribe like this video and thanks for watching